It's been a long time Getting from there to here It's been a long time But that time is finally near I don't know the rest of the words. I don't even know if those were the words. Freaking Star Trek Emperor Fries. <laughs> Greetings! I am Cross Knights, and this is, presumably, the last episode of The Devil's Attorney, where you follow his meteoric career rise to the top by getting every single one of his clients off scot-free. And we're going to start out here with Peter Gray. Peter is accused of building a baseball court in the middle of a cornfield. He says that it's not his fault and that a voice in his head told him to do it. This is a reference to Field of Dreams. So yeah, a lot of these are just like repurposed movie characters that you're defending from the 80s. Field of Dreams, also a pretty great movie. James Earl Jones, you know the voice of Darth Vader's in it. Ray Liotta, it's a, a good cast. If you build it, they will come. How much do you want to bet there's going to be something at the end that says if you build it, they will come? It's going to be a pun and that has to be. They're going to do it once I've won the case, I know it. So, how was your talk with Mr. Duché? Very good. It turns out the old stenographer's name is Susan Maple, too. Actually... What? Well, her name is Martha Goldman, but I told her to introduce herself as Susan Maple just to see what would happen. <laughs> that is the most absolutely brilliant thing I've ever heard. Thanks. I didn't think you'd take it that far, though. You know, it's too bad we always have to meet like this, as opposing sides, I mean. Maybe I'll have a think about meeting in another venue soon. Really? Yeah. You don't mean my old client's restaurant this time, right? No, I'm thinking somewhere fancier. Where we don't have to get food poisoning. Sounds good. Oh, they're gonna kiss. They're gonna be like, me, 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 kiss. Oh, um, this is kind of a horrible situation that they've set up for me here. <laughs> because of her. Like, she, oh, she only has one credibility. Never mind. I might be able to win this in one round. <laughs> what were they even thinking? Reverse psychology. Oh, no, that didn't kill him. What? How? How? I guess he, yeah, he had just enough credibility to survive that, did he? Oh, dear. Um, all right. Um... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, final gambit, swagger. I need to win this round now or I lose. Deep voice. Now I need to do six points of damage, right? No, just five. All right, bye. Okay, and now, um, now I need to do six points of damage. So, deep voice. No, I still just need to do five. What? What is my math today? Whatever. Done. <laughs> Almost too easy. That was great. It's like it looked really intimidating at first until I thought about it. Baseball court builder hits a home run. This is just plain silly. All right, nothing about if you if you win it they will come. Or so, I don't know. Maybe the maybe the pun wasn't really there. It's just that's what they say in the movie. It's a good movie, guys. You should watch it. Paul Perez. Paul is in trouble again. And this time for selling a stain remover of questionable quality. It turns out that if you peel away the label, it's just another label under it that says toothpaste. That was very irresponsible of my client. He should have used different, you know, containers for his tooth for his stain remover. But, you know, you gotta cut costs here. Sit down economy. In the 80s, where everything is flourishing. So your client sells a stain remover, correct? Yes, it's quite effective. Uh, so I noticed that if I peel away the label on the tube, there's another label behind it. Okay. And that label says peppermint toothpaste. How do you explain that? Well, my client told me he had some problems in the manufacturing phase with the labeling machine. And you expect me to believe that? I mean, you could always try to use it as a toothpaste, but it's pretty toxic stuff. Toxic? Yeah, it's a stain remover. Who knows what it'll do to you. But it smelled just like toothpaste. You used it as a toothpaste, didn't you? No. Well, I... 
Uh, I was out of toothpaste, okay? So you figured that you might as well use a stain remover? I thought it was toothpaste! Well, I'd say you're lucky to be alive, mister. Are you sure it wasn't really toothpaste? I mean, it, it tasted exactly like toothpaste. Would I lie about something like that? Well, uh, That's uh, right, I wouldn't. By the way, your teeth look great. Oh, thank you. Must be due to the fact that you use stain remover on them. That's what I would guess anyway. Well, there's no hope in taking him out. Not that I ever do. Because he has 16 credibility. I could intimidate, but why? Um, you're the biggest threat. In fact, instant bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care now. My next upgrade is, of course, going to be the thing that reduces the cost of verse psychology. Because holy crap, it's so useful. Also, he needs to be... Okay. I forgot, he's the guy that adds credibility. We cannot let him get his ability off ever. Because it'll be impossible to kill anyone. They'll have 10, 10, and 11. Uh, but now that I've just done that, unwisely, I just realized um, they're going to do potentially 13 points of damage to me. So, we're going to use this. Because then I'll still be safe. And... I guess I could then start doing some courtroom drama. Alright. Oh no, that's 5 to 8. That's... Did I do the math wrong? No. I mean, maybe. Next time. Okay. Um, so she has to go, clearly. We can eliminate two of them right now, though it's not an issue. So, you're gone. Thanks for playing. The real question is how much do I have for the bonus, and I'm not actually sure what the answer to that is. But, uh... Deep voice. And take you out next. Uh, take you out next. Might as well. So wow. he's gonna go up to 10. So good. But that's fine. Hopefully he'll do one point of damage to me. He did. You think that's funny? I can instantly get rid of all that by using Intimidate. And then you're just another schmuck within range of my lower abilities. I got the Boom! Skills to pay the bills. One of the issues with this game, actually, let's just do this. Uh, clean victory for stain remover salesman. My reputation remains spotless as my shiny white teeth. One of the things about this game is like I think the puzzles, because it's really more of a puzzle game than a strategy game, they get a lot better once you get the abilities and the game goes on. A lot longer now on hard mode it's good all the time except not because then you have to the random number generator just has too much of an effect which is why i didn't do hard mode but um still need a little bit more it's i don't know i, I do like the game and i like it better later on and the other weird thing of course is that i swear to god if you don't get certain abilities it's so hard to win like how can how could i have done any of this stuff without reverse psychology i'm telling you it's the best skill in the game but okay, we have Carlos Sandini once again, and this time for selling antiquities via mail order that may not be antiques, as he claims. Oh, okay, antiquities are antiques. I, like, I don't know if I've seen that word before. <laughs> Except I've heard like people say, like, onto antiquity. But that means something else. Anyway, Carlos says that his antiques are of the highest possible quality. Your client has caused quite a stir by claiming he's selling the best antiques in the world. But it's true. But you can't really say that one antique is better than another. Sure you can. Most antiques are very fragile and in poor condition, but my client's antiques are guaranteed to be much higher quality. How can they be guaranteed to be of higher quality? Because he makes them himself, of course. He makes them himself? But then they're not even antiques, they're just replicas. If it looks like an antique, smells like an antique, and even costs like one, I'd say they're antiques. But it's not a matter of opinion, it's a matter of whether or not they're really antiques. Well, that's your opinion. No, that's everyone's opinion. It's certainly not my opinion. But they're still not antiques. Okay, fine. Fine. But they're still the best. <laughs> Of course, none of that conversation was admissible. Holy crap and a crap cracker. <laughs> I keep on forgetting Mike Spencer is essentially just a really skilled coach. So now they're doing plus 16 damage. So of course, you know what I got to do. EBB. 
Yes, it is good to be me. And that was with the witness protection. Now let's talk about the witness protection. For the first time, not okay. So I think I'm gonna have to take out the witness protection first. You're not testifying this round. Second of all, I need to get this jerk to leave the damn courtroom. You're... That's right, all you gotta do is uh, intimidate witness protection because that's not illegal. Um, prepare for next round. All right, nothing happens this round though. So he's at f four. This'll do it. So sorry about that, really. And now she is vulnerable to my deep, deep voice strike. Cross examiner. I'm relieving you of your duty. Very nice. New verdict, an antique trial. And they're still the best. <laughs> the best replicas around. All right, let's get some airflow. Ooh, feel the air. So now my favorite skill is cheaper to use. Okay, client Charles Shine. Charles is charged with excessive display of speed after doing a burnout in the spotlight. What? Charles claims that his gas pedal is so sensitive that it was out of control. That has to be a reference to some movie that I don't understand. Some car movie. So your client got a ticket for doing a burnout at a stoplight. And I take it you're here to fight that. Yes, my client pleads temporary insanity. What? That's completely ridiculous, even for you, Max. Well, you'll see, Margaret. I'm here to prove how driving a car like my clients can actually cause insanity. I even brought a schematic of a brain. A schematic of a brain? How is that supposed to help? Well, I use a really talented artist to do it, and it looks extremely scientific. I also have a graph showing the insanity spreading from the car to the frontal lobe of the brain. It's kind of rough, but you'll get the idea. But just because you have a schematic of a brain and a graph doesn't make it true. So you're saying that you don't believe in science? No, I never said that. Haven't you ever heard the saying that science conquers all? I believe it's love conquers all. Perhaps it's the love of science conquers all. No. So you don't believe in love or science then? Please, Max, just stop. Okay, looks like science wins again. Oh. So this is an honorable court. And I think we have to question, uh, having a prosecutor that doesn't believe in love or science. Hey! Yeah, the judge agrees, don't hey me. I made a good case. So what do we have left for you, you, you science lovers here? Um, I can't reverse psychology you. In fact, I need to do six points of damage just to even crack the facade of that person. Um... So instead, we're just gonna... I mean, he only does three damage. Screw him. Doesn't matter. So, deep voice analysis. And guaranteed to take this guy out. Wham. Never grows old. Alright. So, he can sink oh, me in two more rounds. Very impressive. Um, if I use Intimidate, does that... This is going to be a test. No, but I really want... Never mind. I, this is a test. Okay. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe the percentile damage would still work. I mean, this is going to be way harder now that I did that, but whatever. Um, yeah, that that's interesting. So it even though it does percentile damage, it's still blocked by the witness protection, which is no longer in the courtroom. Oh, you don't like that? Well, too bad. No, oh, you're still alive. Awkward. Patronize. Good. You and your dumb mustache. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Okay. Don't have any other boosters, but that's fine. By the way, sir, you've got so many gaps in your teeth, it looks like your tongue is in jail. Well, he's sad. Now that's what skill looks like. He's sad and shocked. Speed Demon outruns the law! It's a good thing the insanity was just temporary. <laughs> Says the client. Yeah, I mean, I had schematics. I don't know how anyone could argue against my... 
car sanity. Sal Miller. Sal has been selling rubber dinghies and labeling them as speedboats. Sal claims that since they were fast enough to outrun the police that tried to arrest him, they must be speedboats. That's a salient point. If they're fast enough to outrun police, yeah. Like, not even kidding. I think that's a good argument. Don't you think it's a bit misleading for your client to sell rubber dinghies calling them speedboats? Well, they're incredibly fast. Yeah. The police report says that your client tried to escape in one of his boats and that they had to call in the Coast Guard just to catch him. Which brings me to my next question. Why was he running from the police in the first place? My client is a bit paranoid and, uh, well, he thought he was being chased by communists. Communists? Do they usually wear police uniforms? Well, if they're double agents. And why would he be chased by communist double agents? Maybe he knew too much. Well, does he? Does he what? Know too much. Uh, about what? I don't know. So why do you ask? What? You seem to ask a lot of questions. Are you a double agent? No. So what's with the Russian accent then? I don't have a Russian accent. Well, that's very convenient, don't you think? Well, you know what? I'm gonna keep a close eye on you. Okay. Okay. Wait, are you messing with me? Yes, I am. I thought so. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't. No, I think I think he's getting wise to your games, Maxi. Maxi boy. So he does three damage this round. This uh, oh, there's so many. So many witnesses. Um, I think we want to get rid of the evidence first, right? There's no one I can use reverse psychology on successfully right now, or even effectively. So, instead we're going to concentrate on the evidence, as I just said. Um, do we want to do a knockout punch of the evidence? Yeah. Knockout punch of the evidence. Bloop! Who's the best? I'm the best. I am the best. Then, um, courtroom drama. Courtroom drama. All right, I shouldn't take nearly as much damage now. And, hmm. Deep voice. Prepare for next round. And screw it. Courtroom drama. All right, well, you're doing zero damage. You're doing one damage, you're doing zero damage, and you're doing zero damage. Is that the best you got? Alright, courtroom drama's actually pretty awesome. So, yep, three action points. Love it. Max. So, how much damage can they do now? Now they can do considerable damage to me. So we don't want any of that. I could object to one of them. You... All right, I'll still have enough to uh, be awesome next time. Uh, Intimidate will do three points of damage. That's actually not bad for two. But then what am I going to do? Yeah. Oh, I still have deep voice. Never mind. Pop. <laughs> I forgot I set that up. I can do this all day, you know. Boom. Not very impressive. All right, so I don't have deep voice or ego boost anymore, presumably. Yeah. I do have epic speech and swagger, but then I would have to guarantee that I was going to win this round, so let's not do that. Instead, let's just make sure I can stay around for another round. They probably couldn't have killed me this round, but they might have been able to. And then we're going to cross-examine. Wow, I was not That's expecting right. that. Excuse. I will, in fact, take it, though, <laughs> and discredit. Wow, both of them did maximum points of damage. Hell, if I used swagger, I probably could have won this got? round, but I didn't think it was going to go that well. Interrogate. Discredit. I five to sell. Yeah, speedboat charges fail to float. This whole case just capsized. And what are, what is my last car thing? Just so I know, I don't remember. Materialism, no. Uh, discredit. And analyze always does full damage in first use. You know, I might actually go with discredit. No, but I always forget to use discredit, don't I? Hmm. But then with deep voice, I could do four points of damage for only two. 
for only two. Yeah, because discre. Hmm. That's possible. I'm going to have to make a decision about that. But, I mean, the analyze thing actually is pretty great. Maybe I should. Yeah. Hmm. They're both good choices. All I'm saying. Richard Fastly. Richard has been accused of infidelity by his wife. Richard claims that he would never make her cry, would never say goodbye, and would never tell a lie to hurt her. So this is Rick Ashley. <laughs> I got that one. It does kind of look like him, too. You know, you shouldn't have crossed me, Max. Well, technically, I think you crossed yourself. No, you crossed me. And you know what happens to people who cross me? Do they feel a sense of accomplishment? No, they don't. So why do I feel so good, then? I don't know. Maybe you don't know any better. Maybe you're stupid. Well, at least I know better than to make out with an old lady. As far as I'm concerned, that never happened. But if it never happened, why are you so upset? I'm not upset. You're the one who's upset. So, let me get this straight. You want to get back at me for not making you upset about something that never happened? Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, I'm glad we have that all sorted out. Yeah, me too, okay? Okay, then. <laughs> I don't think he's like the one lawyer that you never talk about the cases with. He's all about himself. He's a dick. He's a douche. And he's uh extremely susceptible to reverse psychology. You think that's funny? I have to say though, he has the most dangerous ability out of any of the lawyers, but also one of the most easily exploited, so. Uh, evidence will do eight points of damage. Oh, this is a terrible coach. What are you even... What are you even? Well, that'll... That's 13 points of damage, so... No. Um, the evidence will not sink me this round, so I can try to concentrate on destroying it. Um... One, two... Oh. I think I have enough to do this, right? No, expert analysis is three, not two. And I wouldn't have killed it anyway, so what the hell was I thinking? Alright, well, let's just unload on this anyway. And if I get lucky, I'll do more damage. What am I <laughs> if I get lucky, I still won't defeat it. Okay, major damage to my case there. That's fine, because WAP. Could have gotten lucky, but fortunately I didn't. And then, we should have a if to sink it all. Deep voice. And we're gonna do the old interrogate instead of cross-examine, right? Because that'll leave me with... Yes, that'll leave me with four, which is enough to cross-examine. And is also exactly the amount I need to guarantee destruction. There's more where that came from. There's Susan Maple back there. <laughs> Happy ending and love trial. We'll be together forever! I'm assuming you would sing it. <laughs> Oh, I've been Rickrolled. You been Rickrolled. Bart Green. Uh, he looks familiar. Bart has been getting a lot of complaints from customers of his dating service. It turns out that all the female customers were perfectly matched with Bart himself. So your client runs a matchmaking service where everyone ends up being matched with him. Yeah. I hmm. guess he's just the perfect guy for everyone. You don't think it's more likely that he's just taking advantage of his situation? Look, sometimes a guy just wants to go on a date with someone special. Is that such a bad thing? Are we talking about your client now or someone else, perhaps? All I'm saying is that in some ways, I can relate to this guy. You can't wait forever for love, you know. I tell you what. I've heard some things, some rumors, that there are influential people who want to end your career at any cost. I'd like to see them try. That's the thing. They will try. And I don't want to be dating someone who's in jail. I'm not going to jail, Susan. Okay. I'll say this then. If you're not in jail by the end of the month, I'd be happy to go on a date with you. It's a deal. Best of luck, Max. Thank you, Susan. So, I mean, that's a problem. <laughs> sounds like there's a storm of brewing. Also sounds like everyone has seven credibility, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I don't know how to, Okay, I do know how to deal with this, because first, reverse psychology on you. Because you have quite a lot of damage to the case. And... Let's just discredit her. She's out of there. Oh, yes. Alright, next mode of business, I can potentially take 9 damage, which is exactly the amount that they would need to kill me. 
Uh, since she's just gonna restore all of them, I think we just wanna do prep for next time. So, deep voice. And then, hmm. Nah, screw it, ego boost. Might as well, right? And then two courtroom dramas. Okay, that should reduce the damage to me considerably. Zero. Three, which was the maximum she could do. And that. That's what that was. All right, next we're going to do an eight damage cross exam or interrogation. Another one bites. Um. And now I guess same deal as before. I don't think I can take anyone out this round unless I get really lucky. Actually, let's do the math here. Not, never mind, I'm wrong. This should work. Four damage, cross examine. Thank you. That'll be all. And the rest is really just a formality, isn't it? Yep, not enough damage to do a hit? damn thing. Your testimony was laughable. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. No prison date for matchmaker. The prosecution was no match for us. No, oh, well, now you're saying she's not a match for you. You know, maybe you don't say that after the previous conversation. All right, now I have a decision to make. This is my final upgrade. We're definitely not doing that. It, it would literally not do anything. <laughs> Unless you get like a special bonus for having above max of a skill, but I don't think you do. I'm gonna use analysis. So the Triforce. Nothing can stop me with that triple that win. Is a significantly sweeter looking car than previously. I have bought everything in the game. Money is useless to me. So now I'm really only going to be um, going after the case bonuses for the glory of it, not for the money. Okay, we've got John uh, Shrug and Schrodinger. John is accused of using illegal immigrants to care for his Japanese garden. John claims that it was a misunderstanding and that the gardeners are actually his business associates. <laughs> Who is this guy supposed to be, I wonder? He looks like a politician, but... Hmm. Finally fighting this guy again. So, Wang tells me you've been making fun of Sun Tzu. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What's with you guys and Sun Tzu? You see... Being a successful prosecutor is not just about skill and knowledge. It's about being able to use powerful quotes. Over time, we've learned some very powerful quotes. But none of these can even compare to the power that's held in the quotes of Sun Tzu. And you could say that we belong to a group of very influential people that want to keep it that way. Oh, like a secret cult? So I guess you guys don't like me making fun of him then. If Sun Tzu quotes would ever lose their power, or God forbid even become cliché, there would be a great shift of power in the world. Are we talking communism? Perhaps. Perhaps even worse. Feminism? It may even come to that. Okay. So, if I promise not to make fun of him, do you promise not to quote him when I'm around? That's a very tall order, Mr. McMahon. Do we have a deal or not? Fine. We have a deal. Okay. <laughs> you hear that, Glyphus? You're gonna cause a power shift in the world with all your quoting of Sun Tzu code quotes in my comments. Oh my. Um. Oh my. Alright, I think I know what to do here. But, um, I mean, this is there's a lot of problems, if you notice. So, um... Oh man, okay. I'm gonna intimidate you, because that's gonna do nine points of damage. And then reverse psychology you. Boom. <laughs> and let that be a lesson to you. I just did 20 points of damage to the jerk. And next we do this. And then we work on trying to get rid of that evidence, don't we? Ah, let's use analyze. Let's use my special ability that I got. Pop. Pop. And pop. Okay, four points of damage with just analyze. 
He's decreasing my action points, but it doesn't really matter at this point. You're sunk. Yes, I'm quite done with that evidence. Bam! Japanese garters reap victory. That was all just a misunderstanding. I don't really get what that case was about. Did he have, like, illegal workers there or something? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got, uh... Ruben... Bomb... <laughs> and we're fighting Wayne Walker again, the other guy that loves Sun Tzu. Ruben is the editor-in-chief of a local newspaper that stands accused of bribing public officials. Ruben has not commented on the allegations, but neither has this paper. So, Richard told me about your Sun Tzu agreement. I'm glad we settled that. Yeah, so am I. You know, the last time we met, I underestimated you, Max. Even though you explicitly said you wouldn't, I might add? I think you should know that I never make the same mistake twice. So how come the suit you're wearing today is just as tacky as the one you wore last time? <laughs> if you think I'm going to be drawn into some petty argument with you, Max, you're wrong. Okay. So, what if I should mention Sun Tzu? What about our agreement? Our agreement was that I wouldn't make fun of him. But no one ever said anything about quoting him. You wouldn't dare. What can I say? All war is based on deception. Hey, careful with that. That's a very powerful quote. I know, and the best part is, you can't quote him yourself without breaking the rules. That's not fair. <laughs> well, as Sun Tzu put it, he who is prudent and lies in the wait for an enemy who is not will be victorious. You're taking it too far. You don't realize what kind of power you're dealing with. Yes, but he who knows when he can fight and when he cannot will be victorious. Enough. There's no need for any further quoting. Let's just settle this in court. Fine by me, Wayne. Fine by me. The quotes are too powerful. Because all war is based on deception. Now, if you remember, I've only you only fight both of those two guys twice in this entire game. Uh, and this is the second time for him. The more he gets damaged, the more power he has. So, currently, he, um... He only does four points of damage. Not really a problem. So, um... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out who I should use my reverse psychology on. The witness or him. I think the witness... Yeah, I think the witness is more of a problem right now, so... Blop! Oh. Well. Sometimes we do some math wrong. Let's just discredit. Almost too easy. Now I can just object to this evidence to give me a little bit more time. And we will take it out next round. That's fine. He's only gonna do four points of damage. So that so I need to take him out in one round. I just realized that. That's actually pretty crazy. Oh, I should have saved my reverse psychology for him. What was I thinking? Alright, it's fine. I think I'm still okay. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Okay. Um, seven points of damage. And that's it for the oven. So now it's just wow, this jerk. Hi, just so good. Um, it's kind of damage. It, it's dangerous to attack him right now. I'm going to save my intimidate to do eight points. And then I need to do eight points after that. So we're going to do this. We're going to do deep voice. And let's not do Swagger. I'll save Swagger for next time. Um, hmm. Mesmerize. Okay. The final attack of Wayne Walker has been initiated. Intimidate! Ha! So eight mighty points of damage on you. And six more. And hell, let's guarantee victory by some cocky swagger. Now I don't have to use, uh... Don't have to use interrogate, it has a small chance of failing me. Boom! How could this happen? <laughs> well, you know what they say. Pistachio ice cream goes great with a bowl and a spoon. Sun Tzu. Free press goes free! I have no comment, says client. <laughs> Likely wise. This wasn't really about you. Big bounty! That means I've completed all of the cases, but then why hasn't the game ended? Hmm. Client! Max McMahon! You have been charged with immoral conduct and dishonesty. This is your final trial, so it's up for you to defend your honor and clear your name once and for all. 
The prosecutor is unknown. So this is going to be a long episode, but that's fine. It's the final episode. If you watch this long, <laughs> I think you'll be okay. Plus, this is only going to be like the length of my old episodes. So maybe longer. We'll see. Boom! Dad? Max! You're the prosecutor in this case? Yes, I am, Max. You want to put me in jail, but you're my dad. Yeah, well, uh, which reminds me, uh, your mom sends her regards. Uh, she said if you don't end up in prison after all this, you're welcome over for dinner on Sunday. What? She's thinking roast beef. You like roast beef, don't you? Yeah, Dad, but you want to put me in jail? Oh, it's nothing personal, really. I just felt that it would be nice with a little challenge for once. You know, I find that most of my cases these days are just too easy to be interesting, really. So you're saying that you're doing this because you're bored? Look, son, there's a time in every man's life where they have to confront their father. Yeah, but I'm not confronting you. You're confronting me. I know how much you look up to me, but it's not healthy for you to live in my shadow all of your life. I'm not living in your shadow, Dad. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have my own career, and it's going pretty good. Yeah, about that. Uh, your mom and I both feel that it would be a lot better if you would start thinking, oh, I don't know, about following in my footsteps instead. Hmm. So that one day I can also put my children in jail? Are you upset? You know, I'm sensing a bit of hostility. Upset? You're trying to put me in jail. And you're wondering if I'm upset. But I told you, it's nothing personal. Well, I hope you don't feel it's personal when I make a complete fool out of you in court today. Oh, quite frankly, son, you don't have the skills to take me down. Quite frankly, not only do I have the skills, I also have the determination. Because if I win, Dad, I get to go on a date with Susan Mabel. Fine. But just remember, son, it's not about doing your best. It's about winning. Yeah, I'll be sure to remind you of that after I win. <laughs> I see where he gets it from. Your dad hates losing. That's why he keeps an army of witnesses, evidence, and experts on hand. Whenever it's his turn, he will replace all of the opponents that have been taken out with new ones. This makes him very difficult to beat, but certainly not impossible. So, Max McMahon Sr. is a ridiculous man, and he's also the boss of this entire game. Now, the way you beat him is by getting rid of anything that is too powerful and leaving in things that suck. For example, this witness sucks. I will never attack her because it's good that she's here. Um... <laughs> This guy I can take out when I need to at strategic times, but basically there's four slots. I want the slots filled up with things that suck, is really what I'm trying to say here. So he needs to go. He is ridiculously powerful, that guy. Uh, we can take him out with a simple... Now, I don't want to use reverse psychology because I'm probably going to need that for someone even crazier. But um, I could also object to him. I don't know. Oh, uh, well, first, first thing I can do, due to a little car upgrade, I can guarantee that you're gone. Because that's seven points of damage. You can discard that evidence. Thank you. Way too powerful. Um, I can also... Um, also, I need, to, I need to use my Intimidate on him. Like, there's no... <laughs> this is why, I swear ah, to God, you, like, need Intimidate, intimidate for this trick. exact moment. Because I just did 30 points of damage to him. Um, yeah, that guy's also got to go, if possible. And hopefully replaced with someone who also sucks. So... Uh, how do I do it? Well, I only need to do four points of damage, so... Do I even need a deep voice? I don't even need a deep voice. Let's just attack him. Good. Sometimes I surprise myself with my own talent. And then I want to try to start focusing energy on taking out, uh... Max... Max's father. Because he doesn't just leave if you take everyone else out, he just sends more guys in. Um... Yeah, let's just let's just do this. One point of damage. That was terrible. Nice one. But how long do you think you'll last? Okay. Well, and they don't get to attack the oh, same round. That's, that's another important thing. Impressive. So, I love that evidence. That evidence that appears to be a a sound system of some kind can stay all at once. Um, cross examination. She's gone. Now that's what skill looks like. All right. Uh, at this point, we're going to start focusing energy on attacking Mr. McMahon. So uh, maybe we could even... Hmm. 
Yeah. Spend like one point. Nah, let's, let's spend all the points on attacking him. So, deep voice. And then we're gonna go with some good old cross examination. That's right. That wasn't so hard. All right, uh, I, I won. <laughs> <laughs> you amuse me. He called in another witness protection person to protect his useless freaking witness. I got lucky here. This part can be very hard, but the the people that he calls in are all random, so. Uh, yeah, they just got unlucky there. So, uh, now I wish I'd used my reverse psychology, but it doesn't really matter. Deep voice, ego boost. Um, epic speech. That'll save me forever. <laughs> or at least for five rounds. And then we're gonna, uh, slam his dumb face. Slam! Hmm, okay. Yep. No one to replace with. All of these guys are still testifying. Dad. Is that the best you got? All right, cross-examine. Cross-examine. Okay, stop that right now. Nope. Hey, my career is on the line here. Short and drama. <laughs> His power is useless. Useless! Not very impressive. Not very impressive at all, Dodd. Are you trying to prove something? Yeah. You'll never break me. I'm pretty close to breaking you. I hope you've been paying attention. Maybe you shouldn't have called in so much witness protection on your star witness that doesn't even know me. Also, that's your sound system, Dad. Is that all you got? By the way, Father, you were my primary caregiver. Isn't it the fact that it's your fault that I'm this way? If you didn't want me to be corrupt, maybe you should have raised me better. <laughs> Thank you for not, though. Later that evening, after achieving an epic win. Okay, now I get to decide the ending. Um, it, It's really dumb, the way they do this, because you can't go back and see the other endings without beating the entire game again, and nothing that you do previous to this actually matters. So I need to pick the ending that makes you know, that I want. I, I've gotten them all, I just don't remember what the really terrible one is. So I'm gonna pick what could have happened, not what actually happened. <laughs> should I, maybe I should do this. You know, I was watching one of my old Chrono videos, Chrono Trigger videos, and I was going through a thing back then where I flipped a coin to make decisions, and I feel like I need to, uh, I need to go back to my roots. I'm sure all of these endings are available online, but, um, Heads for the first one, tails for the last one. Heads it is! What could have happened? This ending is what could have happened, but it is quite honestly very unlikely. It's nice and quite cheerful, but it lacks plausibility. Just like, you know, most of my case defenses, I guess it really is perfect. You did it, Max. You really came through. So what are you going to do now? Well, Susan, I think it's time for a change, actually. What do you mean? Well, I feel that I'm done with being an attorney. Are you giving up your career? Oh, I don't see it so much as giving up my career as starting a new one. Okay, so what are you going to do instead? Susan, I'm going to become a pro wrestler. A pro wrestler? Yeah, it's what I've always wanted. Okay, I understand. Do you think it will make you happy? I know it will make me happy. Then I think you should do it. You're absolutely right, Susan. You know, I have a very good feeling about this. So do I, Max. So do I. All right. <laughs> I guess I guess that's it. Also all the dialogues are just all the endings are just dialogue choices really. So that is it. That has been The Devil's Attorney, a cute little indie game for mobile that I got in a humble bundle ages ago. Bringing justice to them all. Of trials always heeds his call. I didn't even remember that song, but uh, that's totally going to be his wrestling theme. <laughs> yeah, so you know, pretty not not a whole lot of people worked on the game. A lot of the credits for voice actors and special thanks people. 
I was hoping there'd be a shot of me in my pro wrestling outfit, but I guess not. Yeah, that's all there is. Uh, thank you for everyone who watched to the end. Hopefully one or two of you actually went out to get the game, because it's fun, and if you want to see the other endings, either, you know, get the game and beat it, or just watch them online. I'm sure they have to be online. If they're not, I'm shocked. If they're not, I'm sorry for not fulfilling the, uh, the vacuum. <laughs> but it'd be ridiculous to think that no one's, like, put it online. Oh well. That's it. The law office is closed, but my pro wrestling career will perhaps begin. In any case, the reason that this law office was so successful for so long is because of these fine people who have helped me stay afloat in between cases. If you want to help too, there's a link that I made it hard to read due to the fact that I want to make a kazoo on there and for my picture to actually fit in letterbox mode for once, which is not the case all the other times I've done an end screen. But um, if you have any suggestions for other mobile games, I'd be willing to look into them, presiding they don't cost too much. Uh, here's the rule for that, though. If it's anything that has an energy system, i.e. you are forced to stop playing it, like, you know, 90% of mobile games, I have no interest in recording it. So, like, it needs to be a game that I could record all the way through if I wanted to, and it also needs to be a game that has an ending. It can't just go on infinitely. I generally do not record games that go on infinitely unless there is an obvious end point for them. Like, you know, with Spore, which I never finished, but... I think about going back to it every once in a while. Um, getting to the center of the universe is an obvious endpoint, even though the game goes on forever. So, that's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, just thought I'd put that out there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next LP. Later. And stay out of trouble, kids. Max isn't there to defend you anymore.